Today, when I was uh, sitting in the Samyama Hall in the morning, there were some things that we had to attend to and uh, I was just about to write a note to someone saying tomorrow what to do. And I wrote one word, tomorrow, and this word tomorrow hit me so hard. So I wrote a small poem instead of a note, not to that person but to you. So this poem is called Tomorrow. A day that never came, but has managed to spoil every game. A day that never came, but has ma managed to spoil every game. One day that takes all the blame, the basis of all fear and shame. Cripples the blossoming of the life's flame, a spoiler that makes life a dream. Traps the limitless in a limited seam. One day that takes all the blame, the basis of all fear and shame. Cripples the blossoming of life's flame, a spoiler that makes life a dream. Traps the limitless in a limited seam. A day that never comes, but the world it rules. A day that never comes, but the world it rules. Tomorrow never happened to anybody, but the idea of tomorrow has robbed people a huge mass of people of their life, just the idea. Nobody ever touched a tomorrow in their life, nobody ever experienced one, nobody ever saw one. But just the idea completely robs people of everything that could be life. What shall we do for tomorrow's darshan? Tomorrow when I come to Darshan, I'll bring an umbrella. Yeah. Darshan means to behold. You can only behold now, you can never behold tomorrow. Not because it's out of reach, because it doesn't exist. You can only imagine tomorrow, you will never behold tomorrow, never ever. But still, for most human beings. It is this idea, an idea whose time will never come, it is that idea which drives most people's lives unfortunately. Even if you drive your life with an idea, <laughs> Even if you drive your life with an idea, you must drive with an idea whose time may come sometime. But this is an idea whose time will never come.
but it still drives people. It dr still drives most lives on the planet. That is why most lives on this planet are not lives, they are just bunch of thoughts, emotions, ideas, prejudices. Most lives are not a reality, they are just a psychological… they are just a psychological existence. They are just a dream because reality happens now, reality happens here. In your mind, only a dream can happen. And life and death will happen today. Dream is about tomorrow. It's better to dream of something that will come true. Tomorrow is a dream that will never come true. So, what you refer to as spiritual process, it's about knowing life. You can know life only today. You can know life only now. This is the moment. I'm not trying to give you a teaching. When I said, this is the moment, all Sadhguru said, this is the moment. It's not about that. This moment is not an idea, it is the only reality. This moment is not a teaching. It is the only living thing. It is the only living thing in the existence is right now, nothing else. So, don't try to understand it, don't try to digest it, you just have to behold it in all its entirety. Start with the rain, good way to begin. Mm -hmm.